this is a demonstration of the Android app to show animations of the gyroscope, accelerometer, and magnetometer. Um, for this demonstration, we're going to need an emotion board equipped with the three sensors and um, a Bluetooth module on it, as well as uh, a battery pack here so we don't have to carry a cable. So um, we're going to need to turn this on and connect it. It's already paired, so we just need to connect. All right, so connection successful. Um, the first uh, demo we could uh, go through is the, uh, is the accelerometer. So the first one on top, accelerometer. So as you can see here, um, I'm displaying my X, Y on the plan, and also displaying the Z information on the bottom left of, of the screen. So that's the accelerometer. Um, we also have the gyroscope. So gyroscope here. Um, as you can see, the gyroscope has a little bit of a drift. On this one, we can see the yaw pitch and roll um, changing here while the gyro is at rest. Um, we can actually click on calibration here. We can do a quick calibration. The calibration is going to last about three seconds and uh, it should be good enough for that uh, demonstration. So now it's not, tr it's not uh, drifting anymore and uh, we can actually move the sensor on the yaw pitch and roll. All right. So two buttons on the bottom right available so uh, we can zero out the position. Once we move too, too much and uh, we lose our reference, we can zero out the position or uh, again the other button is for calibration so right now it's on we can turn it off once we turn it off we see again the uh, the drift uh, happening so uh, those are the functions available on this uh, gyro demo all right the third demo is the magnetometer so magnetometer it's sitting next to the phone right now so we should have a lot of noise uh, as you can see it's not moving very well um, so I can turn the calibration on for that I'm going to need to do a figure 8 so we can move slowly around the three axes and that should be done now so now if I turn my compass I'm actually showing the heading so um, another button available is the uh, tilt compensation so I can compensate on the tilt and uh, as you can see it's not moving much on the roll if I um, disable the, compens the tilt compensation and I do the same move the, ja the, the needle is going out of plan so we can disable or enable any of that and on the bottom left we can see the heading in degrees and the XYZ uh, raw data coming out of the sensor in Gauss. In addition to that we have the motion wake up and uh, free fall feature so let's go ahead and click on the motion wake up so motion wake up I'm going to set the registers so the moment I move the board not sure we can hear it um, on the phone here it's actually vibrating so not sure if you can see the, the LED here it's the, act, the interrupt which sends also the vibration to the uh, to the phone so um, there's a, another feature we have here it's the register access so we can access every single register from either the Excel, MAG or Jaro so let's go ahead and select that register for instance the uh, threshold so we have zero point we have zero five set up in this register which is actually the threshold for this motion wake up let's put zero point two which is even lower right let's go back and motion wake up so now it should be super sensitive so yep it even triggers itself while vibrating we can go 
back to a higher level. Uh, where's my threshold? Right here. Let's put 0 0.3. Should be a little higher, less sensitive. Yep, still very sensitive. Yep. So the other feature is the uh, free fall. Let's set up the registers for free fall. So now it's not sensing motion, it's sensing a fall. So the LED goes on, the phone vibrates, it's sensing the fall. And again, you can go to the register set, change the setting, make it more sensitive, or or change any parameter. This is this is it for the demo.